And the kitty cord not limited to the Corolli camp. Let's bring in Matt Samsel. Well, the wide, wide world of sports just keeps getting younger and younger. The latest phenom lives right here in Houston. Teenager Brad Coleman is lapping the competition. Brad Coleman is one of the best young race car drivers in America. And he's only 16. The gifted gear shifter learned how to race on his computer. Uh, it develops your hand-eye coordination for the driving and everything, so that's not brand new. So uh, the only thing you can't feel is the G-forces and when you wreck, which is probably a good thing. Coleman got behind the wheel for the first time at 13 racing kart cars. He became the first 14-year-old in America to earn a professional racing license. Oh, there's nobody in our family that knows how to use a wrench or knows anything about cars. Uh, our family was disappointed when they discontinued the full-service gas stations. Brad's father, Brandon, was blown away when former 24-hour of Le Mans champion Price Cobb told him his son was the real deal. Two of the other young stars in the country are Graham Rahal and Marco Andretti and Brad Coleman, and one of those names doesn't fit in with that group. He is beyond his years in patience and discipline, and, and he's never... Uh, he's been anything but a typical 16-year-old for us. He really has. We ride with the youth. 16-year-old Brad Coleman doing a nice job. Current After dominating the kart circuit, Brad is now zoom zooming on the Pro Mazda Car Series. Last month, he finished 12th out of 33 racers. Yeah, I think we're pulling four Gs around the corners. You know, your next, uh, and uh, there go 170, 170 down the straightaway. 0 to 60 in 3.2 seconds. They're, they're pretty fast. Not bad for a kid who just got his Texas driver's license. Kind of boring driving on the street. You know, most 16 year olds would be, oh yeah, you get to drive. Wow, this is so fun. No, uh, come on, go to the racetrack. This is boring. 60 mile an hour, it's nothing. Brad says he feels safer on the track than the freeway. And have you been on the freeways lately? His family believes you can't deny his talent because of a fear factor. When the visor goes down, when he pulls that visor down and puts himself in the zone, as he calls it, I, I just go into prayer. And their races are 45 minutes, and that is an eternity at 160, 170 miles an hour when it's your child behind the wheel. I almost hit the wall. I was going about 120 around the corner. Someone decided to go underneath me when they really couldn't. It's too fast, and they hit me, and I was probably an inch away from the wall. So I was like, oh, no. Whoa, <laughs> that's pretty serious. You know, I need to teach myself that I can be out there and be with the big boys. You know, I still think, oh, man, they're really fast, and I just started. But uh, I need to start thinking about, okay, I can hang with them. I know I'm fast enough. And he's good enough for sure. At least Price Cobb is convinced as his coach and mentor. Brad lives with the Cobbs and trains daily at Virginia International Raceway. He misses home, but doesn't miss any school. He's taking his courses at Memorial High School over the Internet. His next test on the track is June 26th in Ohio.